Fregan. F R E E G A N. <laughs> Fregans are people who employ alternative strategies for living based on limited participation in the conventional economy and minimal consumption of resources. Okay. That is according to freaking.info. I'm sorry we're harassing you oh, faster. I, I am going to be a freaking for a week. So what I'm going to do for a week is not buy anything. As my first day as a freaking, we're gonna go search a dumpster. We have this bread here. If you want to take a look at it, it's a whole loaf of bread. But all of this shit fell in it. So I don't know, we might have to forfeit it to uh, the dumpster gods. On the other hand, we have these cookies. It's like three cookies and they're wrapped, so they're good. Um, and also, this bread is in a bag, so it's good. Um, this is pretty crazy, the stuff you can find. Yeah, okay, I was smelling onions. I think everything tastes like onions. I feel like I taste the onions. It tastes like onions. It still tastes good, but it kind of tastes like onions. <laughs> Fuck you, mine tastes like onions. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good enough. I don't want to say yet that the reason I have the flu is because I was digging around in a dumpster yesterday. It's not like I can go out and buy myself some chicken soup. Mm or some cold medicine. Um, all right, so I said I was gonna go to Treasure City Thrift tomorrow and um, you know, film some people and interview and stuff. And I realized that if I really wanna be freaking about this, I'm gonna have to not drive myself there. I have to take one bus there. I have to leave at 10.15 and get there at 10.34 because the next stop I will film from 11 to 12. I have to take a different bus back. Um, it's so complicated. Um, well, Treasure City Thrift, since we are uh, zero waste, we have a, a free market the last Sunday of every month. It's a really, really free market. It was started in San Francisco in the, I think, 90s, and uh, several of them have popped up in different US cities. We started one here about a year and a half ago. Um, we turn our excess into treasures for other people. Um, we serve probably about a hundred Eastside families or Austin families every month. Like with our zero waste policy is we turn the waste or the excess or things that other people would turn to garbage or turn into garbage, um, it's still usable goods and we give it away for free because what else are you going to do with it? Trash it. Yeah. You know. Okay, so I brought boots this time. Uh, we're currently at Wheatsville. Um, I'm really worried because there's a lot of people out here. And the dumpster's really huge, as you'll see in a second. Uh, if you're a freegan and a vegan, it's really convenient because you're never gonna find meat oh or God, dairy products in the dumpster that you should eat. <laughs> My roommate threw away her blueberry cereal and I found it in the trash and I took it. I need to ask you a weird question. Okay. Um, okay, I'm doing a project on freeganism. If you wouldn't mind, if people have substantial leftovers, bringing them to me. Sure, why not? Awesome. Hooray. <laughs> I'm excited to eat a piece of it. <laughs> Y'all, I just found this queso and chips from this table across the way, and I just went and took it. It was. I, I just kind of realized that I'm really counting down the days till Friday. I've been eating maybe like two really small meals a day. There's so many people in the world who don't even get that much to eat. We can eat as much as we want, as long as we can afford it. And even if we can't afford it, we can go digging through a dumpster and find enough to eat. I had to go to the doctors this morning and I was prescribed some medicine, which I had to buy. There's so many things that you can say you're going to give up and it's hard. It's harder than it sounds. Me, I guess I'm just too passive.